Today on Exploring Scotland's History, we're on Oreski and we'll tell you the story of Whiskey Galore. The SS politician went down on 5th of February 1941 with her full cargo. The 8,000 ton cargo ship was en route to Kingston in Jamaica from Liverpool um, when it hit bad weather heading up towards the Hebrides. On board were over a quarter of a million bottles of whiskey bound for the West Indies. Because they were heading stateside, no duty had been paid on them at that stage. On the morning that the ship got into difficulty, someone was standing down on the beach and realised they were in difficulty. Um, the lifeboat had been called but hadn't been given the correct coordinates so it was away off somewhere else. Um, so the locals of the island basically pulled out a sailing ship and headed over and got the crew off the boat. Obviously heading back on the ship um, they were chatting to the crew and realised that there was quite an interesting cargo on board and that's when the fun really started for this island and every other island that found out. Obviously she went down in 1941 um, it was the middle of the war and the island had basically run out of its supply of whiskey um, so a few slightly illegal trips out to the boat might have been taken and quite a few wee bottles of duty free whiskey um, were removed. Unfortunately there was a customs officer here on the island and he wasn't too impressed with what was happening. Charles McCall, the excise officer, went from home to home basically turning the houses upside down to find these hidden bottles of whiskey. People were hiding them in all sorts of strange places and <laughs> chugging them and drinking them so that they wouldn't have to pay the duty on them. The actual salvage crews weren't doing so well on the SS politician and eventually the ship was basically abandoned to the sea. Um, Mr McCall however did reckon that the islanders got at least 24,000 bottles of whiskey off the boat. In 1987 a South US man managed to get eight bottles of whiskey off the wreck and sold them at auction for a measly £4,000. There is a bottle um, in the Am Politician, <laughs> strange that, that it's got the same name, um, there is a bottle of whiskey up in the bar. On the upside of the SS politician and the whole <laughs> whiskey racket, um, Compton Mackenzie managed to get himself a nice book deal out of it. He wrote the book Whiskey Galore, which was obviously made into a film as well, which I'm sure most people have seen or heard of. Um, but yeah, I think I think everybody did well out of the SS politician going down. I was truly saying about the SS politician, uh, as I mentioned, it sank out just on a sandbank out there. It was only a few years ago that the top of the hull actually broke up and was submerged. You could actually see it up until a few years ago. Unfortunately, it's fully submerged now and we can't get to it. It'll be a nice place to go snorkeling. This interesting bungalow with the conservatory at the back is a politician named after the shipwreck and home to one of the actual bottles of whiskey. 